Hey, what's good, heavy hitters? Good morning. So, you know, being an ex-con, we're a little short on emotions, and some of these females just aren't with that, you know? They figure it out a little too late, you know, by the time you moved in with them, and, you know, you're just not lovey-dovey all the time, and all that, and you're able to shut your emotions down when things start bothering you, and eventually you find yourself out, <laughs> you know? as the badge man is done so I've taken steps backwards I guess it feels like um, I came back to where it all started for me um, it's good it's good to be around a bunch of men that are just spitting recovery all the time you know that there's I don't think there's not an ex-con in the house so and everybody that's here has turned their life around and I like that, you know, and as, as bad as it is, I mean, I'm accustomed to being around men, you know, it sucks. I love women, but I don't really know how to function too well around them. Like, I don't know what they expect of me, what, you know. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm back where it all began. Um, probably gonna be managing the place here in any minute. And, uh, it's a little humbling, you know, so, but let me tell you, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to, that, that any of my other decisions aren't the ones that I followed through with. So, and that's why we have sponsors in the program. So we get to run things by people and we don't always like what they have to say. Um, getting ready to go catch a nine o'clock meeting this morning and, you know, I sort of quit going to meetings. Uh, my program started getting really squirrely and it showed in all my actions. You know, it's a beautiful day here in sunny Southern California. Um, I talked to Jay's sister last night. I'm gonna be sending all donations to her today. All the donations that I've received thus far, I guess they went ahead and put it on her son's credit card so I want to just say thank you thank you to every single person out there that you know sent whatever they could even if it was only words of positivity I want to thank you Nunez I got your card um, I meant to call you in and, and, and uh, you know hit me up on Instagram and we'll, we'll bullshit you know um, it's so funny like I'm walking around there's fucking there's about a gallon of ink on everybody around here and I feel right at home again. Um, I hate it. I hate it. I hate being around a bunch of men that don't fucking do their dishes, don't want to do their chores. And, you know, like, I know what my responsibility is when I'm in a place and, and I do what I'm supposed to do now. And I was always on no, non-program yards and this and that because I didn't want to do all that shit and, and it didn't take me places that I wanted to go to. So I guess we're talking about doing another collaboration. Uh, we'd like to know what you guys want to hear. You wanted to talk about some funny shit, but you know, yeah, I seen some funny shit in the joint, but you'd have to have prison humor to understand it, you know, because there ain't much funny about being in prison, as you guys all know. Um, gratitude. Today's day, today is gratitude, you know. I'm not where I should be. I'm not where I could be. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. And um, I want to start to feel that gratitude because I'm not really feeling it right now. Uh, I feel like I've gone backwards. Harriet's a wonderful woman. Um, Blythe was a wonderful woman, you know. Uh, who wasn't a wonderful woman, you know what I mean? Like, so I carry all the blame for any failed relationships. Um, it just, I guess it's a learning thing, you know. Uh, Anyway, yeah, this is starting to sound a little sniveling, but I just wanted to touch bases with you guys, let you know that things are going okay. Um, like I said, we're gonna be doing another collaboration, I believe, we're discussing it anyway, and 
you know, if you guys got some things you would like to hear about or know about, within reason, please, within reason, then we're happy to discuss it with you, you know, give you some gems. Um, my life today consists of right there, unity, service, recovery, you know, and right now I'm being of service to myself, you know. Um, I talked to Jay's sister last night and for the first time in a long time I got really choked up, you know, wasn't able to really talk very well because those are just other feelings that I don't know really how to deal with either so I just usually cut that shit right off you know Jay was a good man to the very end and you know his sister every everyone they all all five brothers and dad died at the same age you know it's it's just really sad so she doesn't have to deal with that anymore anyway nothing but love and respect shot your way you guys have a pleasant day um, make it your day, man. You know, I'm going to tr certainly try and make it mine. I'm going to humble myself to clean up after other men again. I'm going to, you know, the bed that I've been paying for now, I'm finally staying in. <laughs> Thank God it was available. Um, yeah, it's going to be all right. Everything's going to be just the way it's supposed to be, man. It's how it always is. Everything's always the way it's supposed to be when I stay out of my way. So, all right. Nothing but love and respect. We'll talk at you soon. And thank you guys for all your words of support. And yeah, I can't believe I got another parking ticket the day before I leave. Can you believe that? Poor Harriet. It must cost her almost a month's rent just in parking tickets over there because I tried to stay on top of shit and it was just ridiculous. Eminem, appreciate you. You know what I mean? Cliff, you've been more than fantastic for the channel. Um, I don't know. Everybody, everybody that's got something positive to say. You know, so you guys are telling me, yeah, get a five-day job, and I would love a five-day job, but I also committed to my family to become part of the family by looking out for my grandkid and doing this and that. So, and they need me at times. So that's why I was saying that. I'm not afraid of work, trust me. Trust me, I'll outwork any of these fucking 20-year-olds that he's out here. So anyway, I've dragged this on long enough. I'm gonna let you go. And I'll be talking to you soon. Probably, you'll probably start hearing a more of a positive message out of me again now that I'm back around, you know, my type of people. So, nothing but love and respect. Have an awesome day. Talk to you later. Bye.